There we go, at the boats. Moro boats, okay. SS Susie. A gift from Susie's father as a thank you for preparing his lunch one day. Oh, nice. <laughs> this will get me across the lake in no time. Unfortunately, the boat didn't belong to her. I'll just borrow it for a couple of hours. They won't even notice it's gone. But borrowing something without asking first was just stealing. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than wait for permission. <laughs> that could get you into a lot of trouble. Anyways, of course, the boat needed a key. Jeez, nobody trust, trusts anyone these days. Trust must be some other... Uh, there must be some other way to start the engine. Uh, shall we just pick the lock? Can we just pick it? Oh god, alright. Warning, risk of electric shock. Uh, I bet I can't... I can hotwire the boat if I get this panel off. Uh, risk of electric shock. It was far too dangerous. I love danger. I laugh in its face. <laughs> Alright, third degree burn, smoldering flesh or death. Warranty void if removed. Smith and Smith. That's... Ooh, there's a sticker here. For a boat. Nice. Uh, let's unscrew this. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Cut. Fuck. Gotta go faster. All right. One more. Oh, this one's stuck. Damn. <laughs> this one's stuck, alright. Foiled at the last moment by Rusty Screw. Oh well, time to turn back. Uh, there's only one screw left, I can just pry the panel back. Yeah, exactly. And so she very carefully pulled on the panel. Tap, 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 tap. tap. And it's off. <laughs> alright, so, wow, looks complicated. Far too complicated for a child to even attempt. Mom always says a great detective focuses on the solution, not the problem. It looks like I can bypass the ignition by turning the dials until the, all the lights are illuminated. Uh, turning the dials until all the lights are illuminated, right. Piece of cake. How do I... Oh. Oh wait, that's one dial illuminated. So how do I have to connect? What do I have to connect? The red and the yellow? I must... Okay, hold up. Uh, let's see... Got. All right, this one and the yellow should. Yeah, that gets that one, but I need to connect uh, the other ones as well. All right, let me just leave it like this, maybe. This is, uh, this is very confusing, <laughs> to say the least. I'm just gonna try different combinations. I'm just gonna turn this one until everything is, like, lit up. Uh, this way. I can't be bothered. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, another turn. Still doesn't work. One more turn. Makes no sense. That lights up one of them. There we go. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Alright, it's trial and error, I guess. Trial and error. 
Jenny had found a way to cross the lake, but she was still a long way from home. She pulled out her journal and plotted the course. First, I'll navigate my way around Skull Island. Next, I'll sail up the river to the Olmo Olmos Dune Bridge. Then it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest. Home, sweet home. And finally, home! Alright, sounds easy enough. Got it. Let's go! It's a lovely night to go sailing. <coughs> Excuse me. Jenny had never crossed the lake after dark. Come to think of it, she never even driven a boat before. She thrust the throttle forwards and felt a cool wind whip through her hair. Sneaking around after the curfew had its benefits. Oh, we can come the Oh, that's, that, that's cool. Sweet! I just gotta be careful here. Uh, which way? Left? Oh, what's this? What's going on? Why was there a sparkle? Oh! What is that? Some whales. Or is that just a big tuna? Not sure. I guess actually turn the boat here. Wait. Nice, we got the sticker. Uh, let's just carry on. Cool. Just be careful here. Perfect. Not a scratch. Oh, on Susie's boat. Don't want her to get upset or anything. Okay, I just mind the fishes here. Oh, God. The big one. Oh, God. Hold up. I swim in the shadows of giants. Ah, these are the giants. Yeah, of course. Uh, this must be the place. Am I just going to stop the boat here? Oh, goodness. Whoa, that was huge. I have to get a closer look. Uh, what am I searching for? Holy moly, alright. Uh, Alright, two of them to jump out. I just have to get the fishes. Oh my god. That's a big one. Oh, that one is a bottle. A secret message in a bottle? The elusive red herring, a rare and fantastic sight. I can't believe that actually that really exists. Jenny had always believed they were a fisherman's tale, but seeing them firsthand, she's so beautiful. But what was stuck in their scales? Nice. So just took that apart with the power of light, <laughs> I guess. Pick up the bottle. A message in a bottle. Curious. I am the voice of reason. I walk amongst the sunken ships. That one sailed through the glowing mist. It's another clue. This case just got more... dangerous. 
Jenny had no idea who was behind these messages. This could be an elaborate trap. Or it could be the answer I need to prove my mum's innocence. The best course of action was to go back and get help from an adult. No, I have to see where this leads on my own. I, I find it kind of fascinating that the story, it's like as he's writing the story, it's coming alive by itself. Uh, uh, what I mean is like Jenny has her mind of her, of her own, like the character in her book has a mind of her own. And uh, he just takes control over his writing. It's very, uh, very curious. <laughs> maybe that's what happens to real uh, writers. I'm not sure. Uh, so maybe sometimes. I don't know. All right, sunken ships, glowing mist. That should be easy to stop. To spot. Thanks, fishes. Uh, another message. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, follow the path. Reach the truth. All right. Let, let me put. Uh, our latest sticker in there. Where is it? Oh, I think we missed one as well. Oh well. Cool. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, no, never mind that. Oh, am I meant to go back, really? Okay, if you say so. Alright. Maybe there's another path I didn't take? I thought this was the only way. Uh, maybe... maybe not. Oh, okay, we can definitely go through here, I guess. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Why is it blue? You are here. Okay. So there's the Skull Island Lighthouse and Sandwich Shop, Bearclaw, Bagel Bay, Shallow Grave Waterway. Oh, God. Alright. Uh, Almost Dune Bridge is over the other way. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Okay, let me just check. Uh, there's nothing up here, is there? Oh, I think I found something. Yeah, it must just be another sticker or something, I don't know. Oh, another one of these. Okay, cool. So I think we only need one more to collect the whole postcard, I think. So, let's keep an eye out for that. So, we gotta watch out for these shallow graves, I guess. Just making sure there's no multiple paths I can take. Okay, this should be the only way. Uh, low visibility. Hmm. Oh, this is this is where the sunken ships are at. I would imagine. I can't see a thing. I must be heading in the right direction. Okay. Let's just be careful around here. Which way? This way? Oh, up here. Oh, okay. Investigate area. Jenny navigated carefully through the thick fog. It smells like rotten fish. Many ships had lost their bearings here, grounded on the jagged rocks swallowed by the lake. Maybe I can shed some light on these coast ships. Uh, let's see. Shed some light there. Nice. Looks like that's a part of an airplane. 
Uh, what else is there? Oops. Oh, that was nothing, apparently. That was to save. There's a message here. Nice. Another message? This is starting to feel like a wild goose chase. Who's planting these messages, man, in the weirdest parts? This must be so hard to put the bottles in the places. Anyways. I am the hope in darkness. I sit in a spiral of ancient stone. Against the clock I move along. Okay, so we saw that already. What's with all these cryptic messages and where are they leading? I should get out of here before I turn into a ghost. So we saw there was a bit in the map, there was like a spiral, so like a rock formation in the shape of a spiral. Uh, spiral of ancient stone, yeah exactly, okay. Uh, let's go back and we'll make our way towards it. Uh, which way was the way out of here? Through here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Phew! Made it out of life. Let's go find this spiral of ancient stone. Yeah, so that's up there, the rock. Round rock, so whenever we get to the intersection, we we'll just go left. Okay. Island, home to the uh, an abandoned lighthouse and an excellent sandwich shop. They commissioned over a hundred years ago, but the light mysteriously continued to eliminate the darkness. All right, perfect. Okay, I think we've reached that intersection I was talking about. So let's go left. We should be entering the spiral rock formation. Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. We're going to the. Uh, we are heading in the right direction, at least. I wish this boat would go a little faster, but. Guess we can't. Uh, we already have a boat, we can't ask for anything better. At least we have a boat, you know? Okay, so what's in here? What's the next message? The night grew darker and eerie. Why do I feel like I'm being watched? Oh my days. <laughs> well, aren't you ominous? Uh, be cautious. Nice, birdie. What are you doing all the way out here? How rude. Alright. Uh, what's this? Oh, we just have to eliminate the birds, or uh, what's going on? Uh oh. Watch it, buddy. Talk about a murder of crows. He threw a rock at me. Is it a rock? Uh. Oh, I just fell as. <laughs> I just felt the spill, uh, chill down my spine. I can't even talk no more. That was not a rock. It was a crab. Alright. Let's continue to investigate these rock formations, I guess. I don't know. Is it just piles of crabs? Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe one of these 
formations have uh, as uh, a, a message for us. Okay, just gotta make sure uh, there's no. Oh, there it is, the message. Oh my god! Oh, we just missed it. Damn it. Gotta have to wait, I guess. Until it comes back around again. Yeah, go. Cool. Uh, what's the next clue? I am the answer to the unasked, to the unasked question. I stand inside the crescent moon. Below death's gaze, I wait for you. I wait for you? This could be the last clue. So caught up in unraveling the mystery, Jenny failed to recognize how dangerous this chase really was. Who is waiting at the crescent moon? Whoever it was, our intrepid detective would need to be extremely careful. Yes, we need to be. Could be the murderer. But also, why would the murderer go through all this trouble just to get us, and you know? Crescent moon below death's gaze. Alright, time to wrap up this case. Alright, uh, cool. Skull Islands. Yep. So just beneath Skull Islands? Or... no, wait. Crescent moon... Hmm. I don't know. Beneath the Skull Island, probably. Or inside one of the eyes of uh, the skull. We'll find out. So I don't know how old this little girl is, but uh, she's hella brave, you know. <laughs> like, if if I if that was me in her position, I would. I have no idea what to do. There's one brave little lady, though. Okay, let's see. Let's consult the map, I guess. Uh, Crescent Moon. Hmm. Okay. Bagel Bay, could that be? Could that be it? Could that be where we need to go? Not really sure. Let's uh, continue on uh, through here. Cool, another sticker. I don't think it would be here, but uh, I mean, who knows? Oh no, maybe, yeah, it would because the rocks are forming like a crescent moon, I think. Yeah, even though it says Bagel Bay. <laughs> okay, this should be the place. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Don't wanna fall into a trap. Hello? Oh, that's... Oh, that's a bit scary. <clears throat> Who, who's there? Stay right there. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself.
uh, threaten. <laughs> I'm with the police. You're surrounded. You have two seconds to start talking or I'll... I'll have to use force. Is it a statue? Right. I warned you. I'm coming over there. Right now. I think it's a statue. There's no one actually there. Yeah. Ugh. We have been duped. Oh. It was just my imagination. Thank God. Holy shit. The dogs barked loudest before the dawn. Ah! Get away from me, you maniacal murderer. The dogs bark loudest before the dawn. Uh, CJ? The dogs bark loudest before the dawn. Uh, the horse... No, early birds? Wait. Uh, early birds, was it? Yeah, I think it was. The wind blows strongly from the east. And that was the watch bot. Yeah. A watch bot feels very self-conscious. The evening sky is full of fireflies. And that was the donuts, I think. The last donut is the tastiest. Excellent, Jenny. They haven't broken you yet. The notes were from you? I thought you were the Dean's killer. Why did you make me go through all that if you were already in the boat? This is the only place safe from their prying eyes. Uh, ears. I mean, what happened to his eye? Is it blackened out? Did he get punched in the eye or something? It looks like it did, yeah. We have to hurry. This line is insecure. Line? We're talking in person. Exactly. Now quickly, before they get a fix on our location. What did you want to tell me? Seriously? You can't keep doing this. You contacted me. Did I? Actually, I'm glad you did. I need to ask you a few questions about the Dean's death. Maybe he is the murderer though. That I haven't ruled him out as a possible suspect. I mean, it's possible. Good, Jenny. Question everything. Trust no one. Exactly. Interrogation of CJ. Uh, what's going on with his... Uh, he's got police do not cross sticker. Oh, alright. That was a part. What's he doing with his scuba equipment? What's this eye? Right, right, the eye. Suspiciously large bruise. What happened to your eye? Did you get in the fight? Uh, it wasn't a fight. More of a misunderstanding, really. A seriously purple misunderstanding. Well, you should see the other guy. Huh. There's something you're not telling me. Is there? <laughs> uh, what's this? The compass? Oh, it's pointing straight now. It's not all over the place. What happened to your compass? Before it was wandering, but now it seems to be pointing in one direction. Exactly. Do you see now? It's not compass at all. So what is it then? Aliens! Aliens? What are you talking about? E.T. Extraterrestrials. Beings from another world. I know what aliens are. Come on, CJ, there's no such thing. What? No. Not you two. I'm sorry, CJ, but it's time to get serious. The Dean is dead and my mom's in jail, framed for a murder she didn't commit. I need to get to the truth. The only way to truly see is to open your minds. Not everything is what it seems. If there really are aliens in Northington, how come you're the only person who's ever seen them? People don't see what they aren't looking for. That's why I come here every night to observe the unobservable. The compass is my eyes. It can see their presence where I cannot. Why don't you borrow it and find out for yourself? Alright, I'll take the compass. Surely there must be another explanation to it. I bet it's pointing to that secret base underwater, but that's just my guess. Okay, I'll take it. I need all the help I can get. Good. You can prove my theory to be fact. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just remember, when the needle is steady, the phenomena are near. Sure. 
They were here before. They will return and we'll be waiting for them. Uh-huh. Yep. Totally. Ah, right, well, CJ. What's going on with your person? Uh Oh, what are these? Familiar notes? Those scribbles look familiar. I found your map of Arthurton in the library. Keep it. It's a great map. Very rare. Ripped it straight out of town of the town charter, first edition. Come to think of it, only edition. What about all your notes? Don't you need them? Nope. Got all backed up in the clouds. What clouds? Did I say clouds? I meant heads. So what do all these uh, notes mean? Shadowmen, UFO swarm. Yeah, what? Who are the shadow men? Who are the shadow men? Yes, you're starting to see differently. There are patterns everywhere. Keep searching. Okay. All right. Uh... Oh, this is just another sticker. Okay. Oh, there's a final message here, or what is this? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, I'm missing something then. His hair? Nah. What? Oh, this. Dumbled library cards. Okay. I know you were in the library that Dean, uh, the day Dean Strausbury died. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did. Great. What happened? They changed the bathroom scent from strawberry to pine. It was most unpleasant. Oh, is that all? I intended to alert the librarian as a matter of urgency. But no one was at the front desk. Quite unusual. Was there anyone else in the library? No, just the Dean and I. Until, uh, I, uh, until you left? Not like you to leave your research lying around. Why were you in such a hurry? I, uh, lost track of time. I was late. For an appointment. An appointment? Where? Appointment? What are you talking about? You said you were late for an appointment. Objection! Leading the witness? This isn't a trial, CJ. It's just me, Jenny. Then I have nothing further to say, Your Honor. CJ, this is serious. You have to tell me the truth. I have to do it, Jenny. They need to learn. DJ, is this a confession? Well, you were going to find out anyway. CJ, did you murder Dean Strausbury? The Dean? Oh, no. But you just said... Good, Jenny. Suspect everyone, even me. I don't understand. In fact, I suspect myself for quite some time, but I couldn't have done it. I want to believe you, CJ, but uh, do you have an alibi? That's why I left those notes for you. If anyone can prove I'm innocent, it's you, Jenny LeClue. Hang on a second. Let me take a look at that. Jenny, I need your help, CJ. You know, we could have saved a lot of time if you'd just given me this message first. And risk being followed? Never. But well, what had piqued Jenny's interest was not the message itself. That paper. What did he... What did he write all these messages on? Oh, we have to put this uh, paper together? Okay. I mean, I'm gonna use the mouse to do this. Uh, I can't do it. Okay. So, let's see. Can I rotate it? Yes, I can. Alright, I'm just gonna place this here in the corner. And just leave it for the time being. Uh, this gotta go like this as well. Oh no, it's upside down, sorry. Alright. Uh, cool. Uh, this one, I'm not sure where that goes. Let's get the corner pieces in first. Oops. Uh, wait. Uh, this one here. Alright, now... Start to see the picture. Here we go. Perfect. I knew it. 
You wrote all these messages on that piece of newspaper. Local idiot ruins... <laughs> Ruined school play. Parents feared for uh, children's safety and grades. Uh, what else does it say here? The front newspaper was missing, but even this small snippet worried Jenny. They've been peddling lies about my mum right from the start. Sher Sheriff Winston Leclou has distanced himself from all proceedings. Well, if he won't help her, I will. Uh, oh god, alright. Uh, what else is there here? Uh, Mr. Beans, the taste will die for. Keep an eye out for our brand new coffee cart peddling beans all over town. Jenny couldn't help it. Every time she thought about coffee, she saw Keith's face. She heard his voice. She remembered his sadness. And she promised not to rest until she uncovered the truth of his father's death. That's the day of the Dean's murder. Okay, Thursday, yep. CJ was always protesting something. The first time they had met, CJ had handcuffed himself to a bike rack outside Agatha Krusty's bakery. He was convinced they were hiding something in the pies. He'd lost the key to his handcuffs, so I picked the lock for him. They had been friends ever since. All right, uh, that is the time as well. Could that be important? 3.55, clearly the afternoon. Uh, I've got that heights earlier today, scene of terrors, scene of... S uh, this photo was taken in Avocado Heights, that's on the other side of town, miles from the library. CJ couldn't have killed the D, all the evidence is right here. Oh, I, got, I didn't get to read the, the rest of the paper, I'm sorry. Uh, if you guys want to read it, just pause the video, I guess. Alright, let's prove... How can I prove CJ is innocent? Uh, let's see. Uh, so we have Avocado Heights. That places him all the way across town. The time and CJ's black eye as well. Oh no, the newspaper edition, yeah. Cool, this should prove his innocence. CJ was photographed in Avocado Heights at 3.55 on Thursday, two minutes before the Dean died. There's no way CJ could have killed him. Alright, cool. Solve that one pretty easily. CJ, you're innocent. What a relief. But you really shouldn't be going around town terrorizing children. You're going to end up in jail again. That wouldn't be so bad. They have the best beds in town. Every part of my being is telling me that my mum is being framed, but I don't understand why. There are only three reasons a man is murdered. He didn't mind his own business, he couldn't keep his mouth shut, or he wouldn't keep his hands to himself. Have you ever heard of a place called Widow's Drop? I think my mum met the Dean there. Widow's Drop? No. But it sounds suspicious. Anything sounds suspicious if you say it like that. Be careful, Jenny. They'll do anything to keep their secrets. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. Do you ever wonder why the lake glows at night? Or why the power keeps going out all over town? Yes, I do! All the time! There's a lot more to this town if you look below the surface. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Yes. The truth is hidden, hiding, right under our feet. We only stop to look. I'm more confused than we when we started. Well, I really have to get to my house. This case won't solve itself. I can drop you off at the bridge. No need. I'm staying right here. Some of these rocks have moved. Never trust a crab with a man's job. <laughs> Alright, okay. Be careful, Jenny. They are everywhere. Always watching. Don't worry about me, CJ. They'll never see me coming. I sneak in silence. I creep in the shadows. My footsteps are whispers. <laughs> Perfect. Damn it! I've got this. Don't worry. Oh, is the boat sinking? Oh god, I hope not. Uh, they'll buff out. 
well, hopefully. Right, we gotta go and find this uh, secret base and uh, its location in the lake. Hopefully that won't prove itself to be too difficult. Jenny headed east towards the Holmos Dune Bridge. I can dock there and make my way through the Forgotten Forest without anyone seeing me. Sneaky. Uh, but before we do that, we need to go to the house. And I'm gonna take a little break here and we'll continue on our adventure in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye!